that's when he, food comes to the table. On the pond, one two, contact Minneapolis Center. One, now two, we can go to VNAV two, profile. One, two, eight, four, two, one, and four, um, four, for reasons I'm not sure I fully understand, but one, I'm sure Garmin uh, does their best with this. The uh, the VS to target is based on the flight path angle by default, a three degree flight path angle. So no matter what PA-46 you're flying, you're more likely uh, to need uh, to change it and to make it a default of your own. And you do that by covering the VS to target and uh, setting it, in this case, 1,000. It would be 500 for the piston airplane. That then populates a top of descent in time and puts a TOD icon on the map. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. Once we've computed the descent, then we can go back uh, to the waypoint and choose the waypoint page by pressing enter and then choose weather and read off the METAR and know that the winds are out of the south at 9 knots and that we would more than likely favor 1-7 unless there are any NOTAMs to the contrary which we've already addressed. We've already looked at those. So now we can come down here to the procedure button on the FMS press it select an approach and load an LPV for the runway du jour. In this case, 1-7 is our preference, which we've already done. We're not going to uh, worry. We're going to load an initial approach fix, preferably one that gives us a procedure turn, just in case we need it. And that's the subject of a different video. That could be taken out later. Then we press Enter. Asks us, do we want the course reversal? I always say yes to that because it's easier to remove it by covering it and pressing clear enter than it is to put it in if at the last minute you wind up needing it. So say yes to that. Uh, minimums I don't enter at this point because we don't know. We might be flying circling minimums by the time we get there. We might be flying L LNAV if the satellites aren't working right. So let's just skip that because uh, we'll have that information available, us, available to us on the chart once we, uh, once we get there and start the approach. We'll likely be flying the visual anyway today. And then the last option is to load or activate, and clearly we're not, I shouldn't say clearly, we are not cleared yet to uh, anything but the airport. So we'll just say load to that. Now then, we're still going to the airport. But the flight plan, of course, is in there. Uh, the approach is in the flight plan, including the hold. And that's the subject of a different discussion, but there it is. There's the whole thing. Once we've planned the approach, it's a good idea to have a quick look at the, uh, the info page for the airport to, s to see if there's anything else that uh, we want to consider in the way of taxi. Uh, it's pretty simple today, non-towered airport. We'll be likely landing to the south, make a left turn perhaps at uh, Charlie 2, and then taxi northbound up to the ramp and uh, find the FBO from there. If it's a busier airport, you might want to bring up your four-flight uh, airport page and uh, open up that little map there in the uh, corner. And uh, this little map right up here in the corner will have, um, once you enlarge it, will have FBOs listed. Number 867 Delta Mike, contact Minneapolis Center 128.4.